Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. We're at the DroidCon 2013 in Berlin, and guess what I just got? That's an Ouya controller. Well, actually, that's the uh, Ouya Developers Edition controller. Um, and of course, I also got an Ouya here next to me. So this is the in this famous and super popular Kickstarter funded gaming console that is based on NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core processor and uh, it's going to be available pretty soon. Well, the first uh, backers are already receiving the OEAs. It takes a little bit longer for me because I got this special fancy edition with my name etched into the controllers. But anyways, finally, I can play around with it. And first of all, let's talk about the controller because, I mean, um, that's crucial when, when we're talking about a gaming console. This really reminds me of, of a Sidewinder from the late 90s. Um, I just love the look and feel and the way they balance this because what you can see here with this transparent version is that um, the, um, the batteries are in these grips or handles here and therefore they need to make sure right, that this is not getting too overweighted here on the bottom um, but this is just like perfectly balanced out. What you can see here we have two analog sticks that's a digital pad here and over here we have these four buttons that are saying ooh yeah and we also have these uh, pedals here. This is pretty much a setup that you would expect from an Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 or 4 or whatever. They kind of all look the same. This is somehow a standard. They're using uh, Bluetooth to connect it finally to the OUYA and just what I would like to show you is look how small this is. So we just have this power button here and the I.O. ports on the back are for your PSU. There is an Ethernet connector. We have two USB 2.0. Oh no, sorry, that's an HDMI out. Sorry, that's a USB port. That's an HDMI out. And here's a, a micro USB. And that's about it. And over here you can see the main board. Just take a look how small this is. So that's a Tegra 3 quad core. Actually it has five cores because there's also an application core um, that kicks in as soon as you're just doing video streaming or whatnot where you don't need a lot of performance. But as soon as you're starting to play some games, of course, um, the quad core kicks in. You know what, I'm going to switch it off right now because I would also love to show you the whole boot sequence. Okay, hold on a second. It's shutting down right now. We're using this fancy Brookstone uh, projector here and turned it pretty much into a mobile gaming system. Okay, here we go. Oh. Let me just fix this a little bit. Okay, that's the OUYA boot up logo and sequence. Here we go. As you can see, we had to kind of shift two uh, tables together because we couldn't get any bright background. So, and um, that's, um, that's the OUYA uh, main menu and the front end. So you only have like play, discover, make and manage. Here we go. Play will take you to all the downloaded and installed games here. So they have like Cannibal, Natural Soccer, and Ice Rage. If we're going back, Discover will take you to the OER store. Unfortunately, we are just not connected to the internet right now. So that doesn't really work out. Uh, it still tries to get something downloaded. But I think it's still connected to, um, to the GPRS of my of my handset. Here we go. Now we got back. Make is of course with the de uh, developers edition for all the developers out there. They're getting the latest builds, uh, software, and news. And last but not least, manage so you can set up a notification uh, your network. Of course, you compare <laughs> additional controllers, not only this one. And uh, you can take a look at your OUYA account, and you're getting additional information. Uh, from your system here, so we have the MAC address and whatnot. So, well, that's it, pretty much. Uh, of course, what I could also do is just to show you how fast it's going to load a game here, Ice Witch. I've actually never played this, 
Oh my god, that looks hilarious. I have to play this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I was quick. So, okay. Yee -hee. Well, just to give you an idea about the performance. Um, I mean, with the Tegra 3 quad core, even though that this is not an ARM Cortex uh, A15, um, you're definitely getting enough performance to play all the latest 3D games. And uh, I think Ouya has right now about 120 in their stores, but you can definitely expect a lot more in the future. So, if you are looking for a good looking, goddamn good looking, cheap Android gaming console for less than a hundred dollars, yes, less than a hundred dollars. Um, the Ouya ships for ninety-nine dollars. It comes with one controller, you're getting the Ouya over here, not the transparent one, I think it was silver, the original one is silver that they're going to ship to the backers right now. There will also be some limited edition, but they're all sold out uh, over Kickstarter. So if you're on the market for a sub $100 gaming console, if you're, for example, interested into indie gaming, because this scene got so big, right? You should definitely take a look at the amazing Ouya system. I'm gonna get mine, hopefully, uh, this month, but I just can't tell you. And then we're gonna do a very, very detailed walkthrough. Uh, I'm gonna play some, some more games, and I'm gonna let you know uh, everything that you need to know about this Ouya. So this was more like a brief, quick look and first impression of the Ouya gaming console. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks here at DroidCon 2013. Thanks for watching. Bye.